Hi, this video is going to show you how you can use your TA-83 plus or TA-84 plus to make a scatter plot. Now I'm going to be doing the example here which can be found in your textbook on page 61. This is media in the United States, daily circulation of newspapers and households with TV in uh, the years 1950, 60, 70, 80, 90 and the year 2000. Okay, so you can open up your book, page 61, and kind of follow along. It's, this is going to be two scatter plots. And we begin by putting data in the calculator. You do this by pressing the Staff button. And then under Edit, here we see the choice number one is Edit. I'm going to press Enter. And you begin by putting in the years in list one. 1950, 1960. 1970 and 1980, 1990, and the last one, 2000. Okay, repeat this process for lists 2 and 3 and put in the data from the columns for newspaper and households with TV. I already put it in here to save time, but these are the figures. Okay, so how do we view this as a stat plot? I'm going to press second and then the mode key to quit. And then I'm going to press the Y equals key just to check that there aren't any equations in here. Uh, sometimes having uh, equations in this screen can interfere with our plots, which is going to be in plot one and two for our purposes. So press the second key and then the Y equals key again in order to access the stat plots, which is written in small lettering right above the Y equals key. As you can see, we have three available spots for stat plots, and we're going to use the first two, one and two. Now, as you can see, they're both every well, they're all configured to be off right now. So I'm going to press Enter to start the first one, and I'm going to click Enter again in order to activate it. Now, the type here, I've got six choices. I'm going to go with the one in the upper left, which is a standard scatter plot, and it is going to draw data from list 1 for the x-axis and draw data for, from list 2 for the y-axis. And the marking is going to be a tiny little square. Okay, so I'm going to hit second mode. And I'm going to adjust the window dimensions so that the scatter plot plots in the right quadrant of the graph. So my x-min, you might remember this is the uh, year, and I'm going to set this to 1950 because that is the first year we see data. And the x-max, you can probably guess, is going to be the last year that we have data. So I'm going to put in 2000. The x-scale, um, this is how often it makes tick marks. I'm going to put every 10 units. That's every 10 years. And now y-min and y-max are important. I'm going to look at the data, and it looks like the minimum value is uh, 54 so I'm gonna go with 50 because it's a little bit smaller than the smallest value and Y max I think the mo the highest value here is 62 so I'm gonna go a little bit higher than that and go with 65 and Y scale at 1 is fine and I'm gonna hit the graph button alright so here this first little spot right here is 1950 and there's our first little mark and it's sort of hard to see and it goes up and then kind of gradually and then whoomph. Our last data point here is at 2000 right at the very edge. Okay, this sort of tells us in a graphic way what's happening. Now I want to see this at the same time as the plot with the other data. So I'm going to hit second and then the Y equals key. And now I'm going to arrow down to plot number two and I'm going to activate it and tell it how to plot. So I'm going to put in two. I'm going to turn it on arrowing down and I see the first uh, plot type is already selected so I don't have to change that around. Now X list is still going to be list 1 because we are plotting our values against the year but list, uh, list 2 is not right for our Y list. I'm going to change this to list 3 because remember that's the households with TV. I'm going to hit the second key and then the number 3 down here so instead of list 2 now it's got list 3 in it and that's just how we want it. Now in order to uh, be able to differentiate which uh, which data points I'm looking at, I am going to change my mark from a small square to a cross. Now remember, we still have plot number one going with the small square. This is also going to plot the data with a cross now. Okay, so we are ready to go. I'm going to hit second and then mode to quit. 
and I'm not going to hit graph yet. I need to adjust the window in order to take into account that I've got different data here that I'm plotting. The smallest value for uh, households with TV is 4. So I'm going to change my Y min from 50 to 0. Why not just start at 0? That'd be good. And the highest value I see plotted is 101. So I'm going to change this to something like that. 110 ought to be good. All right. Y scale, uh, I think 1 is not very helpful for looking at the up-down scale here. So I'm going to change this from 1 to 10. And now I'm going to graph it again. So I'm hitting the graph button. All right, so what do we see here? We see uh, the little squares here are households with newspapers, and the crosses are households with uh, TV. In statistics, this is known also as a time plot. We can see um, on the bottom here, as we go from decade to decade, 1950, 1960, 1970, looks like 1970 was a pivotal year in how uh, Americans consume media. And then here's 1980, 1990, and 2000. One more thing you could do, and this is, uh, you know, this is not a, a necessary thing, but you can hit second and then scat plot, uh, stat plot, and I'm going to change plot one to, instead of being dots, to being a uh, line. So I'm going to hit the middle one here. and I'm going to go to plot 2 and I'm going to do the same thing from just dots to a line and now I'm going to hit graph and now we can see in a little bit more visual way uh, what's happening with the data alright hope this has been helpful